Dobosh cake is a really popular cake in New Orleans. It was adapted from a Hungarian cake called a Dobosh tort, and it's made from lots of little layers sandwiched between the most amazing custard, and then covered in a buttercream, and sometimes a glaze is even poured over that. Chocolate is the most common flavor, with lemon a close second. And in New Orleans, it's really common to see bakeries selling half a lemon and half a chocolate cake put together to form a whole Dobosh cake. I'm going to be making a zingy lemon Dobosh cake today. To start, we're going to make the lemon custard. Take a saucepan over a medium heat and cook together 270 grams of caster sugar, three tablespoons of corn flour, three tablespoons of plain flour, a pinch of salt, and 350 mils of cold water. Stir it all frequently and heat it until the mixture thickens and starts to bubble. Once it reaches this point, let it cook for further two minutes, whisking constantly. Lightly beat three large egg yolks in a bowl, and then slowly pour in about a third of the hot flour and sugar mixture. This lets the eggs warm up slowly so they don't get shocked and turn into scrambles in your bowl. You'll also need to stir this mixture really quickly and constantly so the yolks don't cook. Pour the warmed up yolks back into the remaining flour and sugar mixture in the saucepan and bring to a gentle boil. Stir constantly and cook the custard for two to three more minutes and then remove from the heat. To make the custard lovely and lemony, stir in the zest of two lemons, 80 mils of fresh lemon juice, and 30 grams of unsalted butter to make it all glossy. Mm. Mix it together well and then cover with cling film. As you can see, I spread out the warm custard into a tray. That's gonna help it cool down a little bit more quickly. Now the trick here is to make sure the cling film presses directly onto the surface of the custard. That's gonna help it prevent a skin as it cools down. Now you wanna let it cool down to room temperature and don't be tempted to stir it anymore. So now it's time to get started on the lemon cake layers for our dough bosh. Preheat your oven to 175 degrees and grease and line three 20 centimeter cake tins with non-stick baking parchment. This is so that your sponge won't stick to the tin. At the Hummingbird Bakery, we always line our tins. It makes removing the sponge so much easier. Using a freestanding electric mixer with the whisk attachment or a handheld electric whisk, beat three large egg whites to stiff peak stage. Stiff peak stage is when the egg whites hold themselves firmly in peaks when the whisk is removed. Keep the egg yolks, as you'll need these as well to make the sponge. Take a bowl and mix together 300 grams of plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Make sure to sift these three times. This is gonna make it all lovely and light. In a mixer with the paddle attachment or a handheld electric whisk, cream 170 grams of softened unsalted butter and 140 grams of caster sugar together for five minutes on a medium high speed until it's light and fluffy. Five minutes is just long enough to get lots of air into the mixture and help the sponge to rise. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of lemon extract and three large egg yolks at room temperature to the butter and sugar mixture and mix until well incorporated. In a jug, mix together 60 mils of fresh lemon juice and 120 mils of whole milk. Add this to the cream mixture along with the dry ingredients, alternating in thirds and mixing after each addition. Lazy baker that doesn't scrape. Only mix until each ingredient is just incorporated and make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl often. After the final addition, mix for about another minute until the cake batter looks light and smooth. For even more air, I'm now gonna fold in the egg whites by hand. Take your prepared tins and divide the lemon cake batter evenly. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes until the sponges are golden brown and bounce back when lightly touched. Keep the sponges to cool in their tins for about 10 minutes, then turn out to cool completely on wire racks. While the sponges are cooling, let's make the tangy lemon frosting. Using your mixer with the paddle attachment or a handheld electric whisk, be 255 grams of full fat cream cheese, such as Philadelphia, with 560 grams of sifted icing sugar. Make sure your cream cheese is cold. So mix these together for two to three minutes until it's all light and fluffy. But remember, don't overbeat it, otherwise the cream cheese is gonna split and become runny. Remember, the rule is two to three minutes for cream cheese frostings and beating for about five minutes or more for a buttercream frosting. We want this frosting to be zesty and delicious. So we're gonna add two teaspoons of finely chopped lemon zest, 
half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half teaspoon of lemon extract. Lemon extract is available from specialist baking retailers online and makes the cake super lemony. So we have our frosting, we have our sponges, and we've got our custard. Now it's time to assemble the doboche cake. The layers in a doboche cake are really thin, so we're going to be cutting each of these in half and we'll end up with six layers instead of three. It's best to use a sharp serrated knife and a gentle sawing motion when prizing the cakes in two. Gently cut around the edges of each sponge and then all the way through to the center. To assemble, put the first layer of sponge onto your cake stand or serving plate. Spoon three to four tablespoons of custard onto the sponge and spread evenly over the layer using a palette knife. Cover with the other half of the same cake. Continue spreading custard between the layers like so and sandwich them together. Don't put custard on your top layer though, we need to make room for the frosting. After your cake and custard have been setting in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so, it's time to frost it. We're gonna spread the frosting over the top and sides of the cake with a palette knife and then put the cake back in the fridge overnight or for a few more hours to set. But be sure to remove the cake from the fridge for at least two hours before you intend to eat it. This will take the chill off and bring out all those wonderful lemony flavors. Try this amazing lemon doboche cake at home for an authentic taste of the Big Easy. It's a perfect slice of sunshine for the spring and summertime, so get baking. For the full recipe, check out the description below and tweet a pic of your bake to at Humming Bee Bakery or post one on our Facebook page. And remember to subscribe for more videos.